Let's take a look at hydrogen bonding here for ammonia, NH3. So we'll start with the Lewis structure for ammonia. This is a Lewis structure for ammonia. And you'll note we have three hydrogen atoms bonded to the nitrogen. They're sharing a pair of electrons. That's our chemical bond. And one lone pair. When we talk about hydrogen bonding, first thing we need is hydrogen atoms attached to a really electronegative element. And those are going to be nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. So since we have a nitrogen there in the center attached to the hydrogens, they satisfy that criteria. We also need to have at least one lone pair on that central element, and we do have a lone pair. So we would expect ammonia molecules to exhibit hydrogen bonding. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry and polarity of NH3 just for a moment to understand what that looks like. So here's our ammonia molecule. The lone pair doesn't show up here, but we have the lone pair there, and that's what's forcing these white hydrogen atoms down gives us this trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. If you need help with the molecular geometry, there's a link in the description to a video on that. And since we have that electronegative nitrogen atom and then the hydrogens, which are less electronegative, we end up with a negative side, that's the red, and a positive side of the molecule, that's the blue. So since NH3 is a polar molecule, we have poles, a positive and negative pole. And you can imagine what happens when we put a group of ammonia molecules together. So here's our polar ammonia molecule. And then another ammonia molecule will come over here. And we can think about how the positives and negatives will line up. So we have the negative here and the positive here. We might get something like this. In those attractions, that forms a hydrogen bond. It's a weak bond, but it's still a bond. So we have these bonded together with a hydrogen bond. Another ammonia molecule comes over here. And it might orient itself like this. And with this last ammonia molecule, imagine how it might line up with this molecule right here. We'll have our negative and our positive line up, and that'll form a hydrogen bond here. So ammonia does form hydrogen bonds because it has this very electronegative nitrogen atom, and it has this lone pair here. In addition to ammonia molecules, it can also form hydrogen bonds with other molecules that satisfy these criteria. This is Dr. B talking about hydrogen bonding in ammonia, NH3. Thanks for watching.